this episode of Cooking with Dan Din. Today, I'm just gonna make something I like to make usually. I think, uh, what am I making? I'm making some steak. I got a flat iron steak, and I'm gonna cook on the stove for like two minutes just to sear the outside and then pop in the oven. Got some broccoli, because it's good to eat your veggies. And a cucumber. And scallions, because uh, I like to put scallions with my eggs. Let me grab some eggs really quick. So like every cooking show, I guess I'm the, um... Huh? The guy that just asks all the dumb questions? Yeah, dude. Ask, what, ask yes. away. All right. So I got the rice prepared. There's actually three cups of rice, and there's actually markers inside. You put three cups of rice, you move it up to the three marker to fill your water. So it's kind of dummy proof. So is this just like steak, rice, and vegetable meal? Or are yeah, you like going like to fit a, it all into like one big thing? What's uh, the end result of this? End result? Well, it's going to be like a plate. You grab what you want okay. and then you eat it. Um, I see. Usually like odd one dars would be just the steak mm -hmm. and the rice. And then uh, turtle might eat some broccoli, but they're not a big fan of veggies, so yeah, they don't really eat veggies. I remember um, that like Lena used to cut strawberries for them. Yeah, the thing is, is we have fruits and we have veggies, mm -hmm. but they won't eat it unless it's cut up. I just popped the rice in the rice cooker and I'm gonna cut up some broccoli and some uh, cucumbers. Now this is pretty easy, you kinda just cut it in half. And when it's like in half, you just kinda just... Have you ever cut yourself? No, anything? never. You're a pro? Yes. See, so get this. I'm actually gonna make like a little cucumber themed bob. I don't is know what like it is. Is that like a salad or? It's, it's very just a Asian. cucumber dish. It's a cucumber dish, so. Um, so there's no like English word for it. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know. It's like very Vietnamese. Yeah. I learned how to make it from my parents. Vietnamese. Yeah. So you add some lime to it. It's like a. It's kind of sort of like a. You know when you pickled vegetable. But yeah. Like I think the acid probably does something to it, right? Yeah. I don't know, but. I don't know. I'm doing something to it, and it tastes really good. Yeah. I mean that's a good strategy. And then so you add some sugar to it. I don't you, measure, by the way, because I'm so used to making it. Yeah. That, I'm, that uh, would take a lot of energy. And then, magic sauce. If Sriracha? Know, if you don't know what this is, you got issues, man. It's more popular than... I think, yeah, people just put that on everything now. Oh, I've like been more than it ketchup. Years. Yeah. I've been eating it since I was like five years old. Yeah? Maybe younger. This is fish sauce. I don't know... What's it called? It's called fish sauce. So uh, it's very Asian. It smells like shit, but it tastes really good. So I actually, I don't like this fibery part. I eat it sometimes, but like it's too much fiber. I mean, who does? Actually, I eat it sometimes. Yeah, so I just keep on cutting it out until I have like a good amount. This isn't a lot of broccoli. Usually I can eat this all by myself, but We've been trying to promote them to eat veggies, so yeah. what happens is in the morning we actually have a plate of fruits and veggies and we put it on their plate. And like, like do you, is this when you not make them? Like, I, I feel like a parent, but I'm not really a parent. Yeah. Mom, I say you can't, you can't leave the table until you finish eating your veggies. Yeah. That's a nice grill, by the way. I like that. Yeah. So wait, the plate of fruit and veggies, is that like you making it? Yeah, I cut it up and I put it on a plate. So you wake up every morning and make them breakfast? Uh, not every morning. Yeah, because like this morning, I think you woke up at like 2, right? No, I woke up at 10. At 10? I just went back to bed. Oh, you went back to bed. I actually just put bake, 3. I'll, I'll compromise. I'll do okay. 365. So I just preheat it. Once it gets uh, hot enough, you pop it in. So who is this it. dinner for, by the way? Uh, mostly just me and my brother and his girlfriend. The guys, they like to eat fast food. Yeah. But Rather cook, than like prepared Dan Din food? Uh, they actually prefer my food, but... They keep getting in your way, I'm sorry. But, um, know, where, where are we going? I only cook breakfast for them. So where, where my brother it? has this deal, okay? He's like, Dan, I'll pay for food if you cook it. So I never for, pay for food when I eat right. at home. So That's kind of nice. He, he pays for all this, and so my deal is I cook. So you should start buying like really nice food. Yeah, exactly. Like buy like... Yeah. Well, I, I buy it Okay. Like filet mignon. And I'm like, shit, dude, you're paying? Yeah. Nice yeah. So then you just send him the bill. Yeah, exactly. He can afford it. But uh, I just add some. You can you... add fresh garlic, but I'm lazy, so I just use some freeze dried. Yeah. I uh, I don't okay. know why, but 
Oh, it's it's gonna start to boil, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna boil too. That's some Kai's, I don't know if it tastes good or anything, but yeah. I like some color to my steak. Yeah. I, uh, this is my favorite thing. I like the smoke stuff. Yeah, it's a smoke paprika. paprika. Why do you like smoke stuff? You just like the flavor? Yeah, I just like smoke stuff. I don't know why. Yeah, this is Montreal steak seasoning. And a little bit of that. I don't know, I bought this at Safeway. It's called Fiery, five. fiery five Peppers. Yeah. Like me, I cook, I kind of just put random shit that I think that tastes good, and it ended up tasting really good. So That's kinda, what you would expect. It kind of works out for me anyway, it's kind of flip it over. My hand's a little dirty, so I'm just not using the fingers I use to flip it over. And I season the same on the other side. So how long do you think that this will take me for that? Uh, I usually cook it in the oven for about eight minutes. Wait, really? Yeah. I like mine, uh... Very rare. Like, still moving. Yeah. Like, right off the cow. Yeah. Put in some heat. That'll get it, like, lukewarm. Yeah, the water is boiling, so... The broth. Because that's a pretty thick steak. I'm uh, somewhat uh, concerned about your health. We should, we should mention that the only reason we're doing this cooking show right now is because Cloud9 stood me up. Yeah, he got stood up. Alex Penn is the worst. So if you like this cooking show, you can blame Alex Penn. If you hate this cooking show, you can blame Alex Penn. I actually don't add any oil to this. You don't need to add oil. Really? You just want to it. It won't get up. like, oh, it's non stick then. Right? It's kind of not too sticky. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. Do you need help? I can help you. Good. I'm just going to stay off camera so I don't get scalded right now. I cool it down after so it doesn't keep cooking. Put it right back on top and I'll drain through. Nice. Alright, so this is a really thick flat iron, so it'll probably take closer to 10 minutes. The thinner it is, the shorter the time, obviously. Yeah. Because ultimately, you want to get the core temperature up to a certain level. So you're going to brown it for... Five uh, minutes. Okay. So it's got like a nice little brownie on the outside. Not super brown, but... Yeah, it definitely has... It looks good. It's going to keep the juice. But then inside. you can see how like red it does thing. Oh, it's going to be... Yeah. That's gonna like be stomach flu right there. This is like special Asian steak. You don't get in like American hot dog. So you just use like general cane sugar? I usually use like raw organic sugar. That is a lot of soy sauce. But I ran out. Is this like a marinade you're making? Yes. Okay. This is actually to put on top of the steak. Oven's getting up. Like right about when I'm done here, I'm just gonna pop it on here and just pop it in there. Yeah. So. Do you stick like any of the sauce into the Huh? The, like onto the pan? Oh, I put it on top of the pan. Okay. So it sort of like on goes the through. Steak, keeps and the then, moisture. Um, it caramelizes on top of the steak. And caramelizes? Because yeah. there's sugar in here. Yeah. This is uh, Asian Steak Supreme. Is that what the dish is called? Asian Steak Supreme? I don't know. I just made it up. Right okay. I've well, that is now, right? You've, you've decided what it's called? Oh, here we go. It's going to take really fast. You made, uh, you, we got to do an episode where you make the fish tacos that you made whenever we were at the Curse House yeah. in LA, back when they, they lived in LA. Those were like the best. Oh yeah? I don't even really like fish tacos, but they were amazing. Whatever sauce you made. I have some of that sauce right now. Yeah? Well, I don't know if it would go with steak. Oh my god. All right, there we go. You don't have to do the dishes, right? Because you guys always have, or the TSM has competitions to see who has to do the dishes. I've heard about these. Yeah, I never do the dishes. Okay. Dishes for losers. So who's doing dishes right now? Uh, I don't know. We didn't cook this morning. Do you have to compete in? No, I okay. can choose to or choose not to. So why would you ever choose to compete in a thing to do dishes? Like just I would just choose them, not to. Dude. Pop in the oven, and then uh, steak will be done. All right. So you might make. So are you gonna make a dessert tonight? No. I like to add green onions to my eggs. So. You know, you, you do the thing where you cut it in half, cut it yeah. in half again, so when you group it up, you can just, uh... It's efficient. Yeah. 
and I'll get like three eggs. Wait, are there, are there like stamps on those? Yeah, because they're, um, I don't know, comfort poop. So they're not like all grouped up and stuff, so they get special stamps. Stamp. Oh, nice. I've never seen that before. So, like, it's nice to know that you guys basically uh, happier chickens. care about the chickens. So there's a technique, right? Mm -hmm. Most people crack on the edge. If you crack on the edge, the shell cracks into the egg. Right. You crack on a flat surface, it open. Doesn't if you crack on the flat surface, doesn't it go into the? Huh? It, like because the force is still pushing it into the egg, right? No, but this is a kink, and uh, the force is more. So frustrated. it's like this, yeah, like and, over across more area. Yeah, the surface area is more, so it doesn't break it into the yolk. Just cook it this way, and then I just do the same. It's sort of like monkey see, monkey do. I don't need to know. It's called don't ask questions. If you ask questions and you know too much, yeah, you can get burned. Is that what you tell the women that you date? Yeah, don't ask questions. Like that. Yeah, because we we know that TSM is incapable of eating anything that's not in like bite-sized pieces. Do you want me to turn this off? Yeah, I was gonna do that. Good job, Travis. You helped me cook. Yeah, exactly. Boom. Boom. My my work here is done. I have provided my contribution. Yeah. You know, I've been single for like six years yeah. now. We'll make sure this makes it into the show. There you go. No problem. That's the that's secret. Mm. You now, like, girls are like, oh, we can cook. Yeah. Jokes, and it's, and it's like, Jokes on her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is, it's still red enough and super good. I don't know, but I like my steak at this. This is what it looks like. All right, Travis, you can try some of the... Is it super red inside? All right, Travis. Yeah, that's pretty red. That's how I like it. Yeah, yeah. It. yeah, why don't you have a little bit too? We can eat it at the same time. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like it. The seasoning is very good. Mm, I know, I just it's put little, random shit on it's it. It's a little rare, but I like the, well. No, I like it rare. I know. I think you're a wuss for not liking it. This is actually medium rare. Perfect, look at the, is that look at the color rare? on it. Look My at the God. color, I think it's perfect. Like, that color is perfect. This is what a meal looks like. Damn. Done. All right, the special is here, special. so. Breakfast. Yeah. Breakfast, so what? I mean, all day. Here you go. You're, you're, white. you're a white man today. Yeah. Yeah. That tomato was actually sliced by me. That's what, that's what I did, my contribution. So it's edible? Yes. Yeah. What, what the hell? All right, that concludes the show, Cooking with Dan Did. And Tra Travis, and Travis. Travis.